all right so let's get started now today we're going to talk about pandas now in the previous videos we started getting ourselves familiar with python then we move on to numpy um, in this particular video we're going to actually talk about pandas so uh, what we're doing is actually taking the libraries one by one and then we discuss them then after that we put everything together when we are proceeding to do our our projects all right so in this particular video we are going to talk more about um about pandas all right and um talking about pandas almost almost all the projects that we'll be doing we will be um encountering pandas over and over again all right so it's it's actually good if you um pay attention over here and then get to understand the concept behind um what we are going to discuss over here all right so um pandas is actually um one of the one of the most used python libraries that you can actually find and uh, throughout your journey as a data scientist or as a machine learning engineer or as ai engineer you're going to be using pandas over and over again all right so um it's something that is going to be familiar with you throughout the journey all right so um as we started in in the in the in the numpy class we the first thing that you need to do when you want to work with any library you need to import that um, library right that is you need to load the library so that you have access to it all right and um, python um, is having a lot of libraries which gives it more um, power to actually work with right which is one of the reasons why it has been most i mean one of the most preferred um programming languages for particularly for data scientists and uh, machine learning engineers and i mean ai in general all right so today uh, we talk about pandas so let's get started all right um since we started i mean getting ourselves familiar with pandas um, um numpy and i um, mean the various the various concepts we can easily move on with this pandas and then discuss about it all right we are going to talk about this nan i um, mean as we progress in the course right um, i mean in today class in this particular video we're going to talk about it so don't worry anything that i put here i mean we will actually discuss it okay and i also be providing you with some links that is going to help you right that you can actually um if you want to read more about uh, any library i mean i'll be providing you um links that is actually going to help you okay so as i said for in order for you to work with any 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 library in python you actually need to load that particular um library right so in order to look, do that we use import right so this is what this is what we are going to do over here so as you can see we have import and then the library name right and so over here import and then we provide the library name right and then we give it an alias right so over here we are, doing, we are saying that pandas import pandas as pd all right so as i said in the numpy class we don't want to be writing pandas over and over again so we just shorten it to pd all right so uh, moving on we will be using only pd and not pandas right so pd is the same as as pandas right it's just an alias okay so um we've already we've already learned how to import numpy right in the previous class if you've not watched that i would advise you watch that okay so um in the same way we use import and then the library that we want to import in this case numpy and then we alias it to np right so in this alias you can use any any alias maybe pandas as as um as pand right maybe something like that or maybe pandas as p or maybe pandas as 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 um as mn but any anything that you want to do right but as i said if you're giving any alias if you're giving any um any 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 name any variable name any name that can vary right which is something that you have power to give make sure that it makes sense right so that when you encounter it later on you can actually know what it means right so in in, in subsequent um cells i mean what i'm what i'm writing here right so with this this particular thing that i'm working in is called a cell right as i i told you in the in the introductory video right so i mean when you encounter this pd anywhere again in any cell you know that pd stands for pandas okay and you know if you encounter np you know np stands for uh, numpy okay so make make sure that it makes sense although you have a flexibility of using the name but make sure it makes sense okay now we will be talking about data frame and then we'll be talking about series all right so we'll be talking about data frame and then series now if you want to find any information about any of the of the 
um, of the concept that we're going to talk about, either series or either pan, um, data frame, right? You can use this, right? I commented so that you can actually um, run it for yourself when you get the notebook. I'm going to load this notebook on the platform so that you can actually get access to it and then work with it. Okay, so if you want to find information about that, just run this. All right, so if you do that, you can see that we have um, information that has been provided for us, right? So we have several information here, okay? So you can see that um, um, it's, it's actually, it's giving a definition for us, right? So uh, um, Panda series is a wine dimensional ND array with access. We are going to see what this means, right? What information that I've provided here, we are actually going to go into details and see what is there, right? So that's why I put it there for you. So if we, we are going to also talk about data frame, right? I'll show you what it is. Um, in the previous video, I touched on it, but over here, we're going to go into details of that, okay? So if you want to find information about that, you can run the same thing. You see that over here, this one is showing us, it's giving us information about um, PD dot data frame, that is Pandas data frame, right? We're going to see what that means what pandas data frame means and what um, series means okay so i just put this one here for you so that if you want more information about that you can get it okay so um before before i talked about any 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 um any theory here i just want to show you an example that's that's i mean my way of showing you i mean i, I believe giving you an example is a better way of learning right so I always I mean, teach with an example all right so let me show you this over here now now, if you see what I have on my screen, uh, let me go a little bit up, right? If you see what I have on my screen over here, right? So, um, basically, if 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 um, if you're coming from the NumPy class, you're aware. I mean, uh, yeah, the NumPy class, you're aware of um, how to create a list, right? If we talked about, I mean, in the beginning of the class, right? From the class, beginning of the class, we talked about how to actually create a list, right? So. Um, over here, what I'm doing is that I'm creating a list which contains pets, right? So I just give it um, a variable name here, my pets, right? So my pet over here contains these pet names, lion, cat, beds, and then fish, right? So this is these are um, my, my pets, right? The pets that I like. So I created a list of um, these these pets, okay? Then I, I run I run this, right? So I could, I could have done um, print, right? I could have print this or could I just, just put the name there without printing it, right? So if I should show you what I mean by that, right? So I could have um, printed this out, right? I could have printed this out, okay? And it's still going to give me the same thing, okay? Still going to give me the same thing. And even if you don't bring the print and you run it, it's still going to actually give you the same results. Okay, so that's what I did over here. Now, after I created, after I created this, um, this, this list, right? After I created this list, my pets. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to use um, this. Let me push this a little bit, yeah, and then show you this. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to use pandas, right? I'm going to use pandas over here. So you remember that when we imported pandas. Right, we shorten it to PD. So you can see that over here I'm using PD. Then I'm using dot series, right? So I'm using series function here. What I'm doing is that I'm going to convert this list, right? This this one here is a list. Right. This one is here, here is a list. Now I'm going to convert this list into a series. Right. I'm going to convert this list into a series. That's what I'm doing here. So I'm using this function um, series. Uh, that's a series function that I'm passing in my pet, which is a list. So if I do that, it's actually going to convert my my list right into series. Right. It's, that's what it's going to actually do here. Right. So if you see the output of the list here, right, you see the output of the list over here, and then you see this series that we have here. Right. So let me show you what what that means let me show you something down here before um or oh, maybe i should i should actually show you here let me go somewhere here and then show you something okay let me let me use this example here right so what i mean by a series is that if you pick each if you pick each of these columns we have we have customer id we have gender we have age we have annual income we have spending score okay now, if I pick this one, if I pick this column, right? If I pick this column, this column is actually called a series, right? This column is a series, okay? E each of these columns, if I pick this, 
right? If I pick the gender column, it's called series, right? If I pick the age, age column, right? It's also a series, right? The same thing, this one, this one, they are all series, right? They are all series. Now, if I put all of them together, right? If I put all of them together, now we will call this a data frame, right? If I put all of them together, we will call it a data frame. So each of these columns is a series, right? Each of these columns is a series. But if we put all these series together, right, then we have a data frame. That's why in a series, right, that's why in a series, we say that it's just a one-dimensional array, right? It's just a one-dimensional array. But a series, uh, a data frame is a two-dimensional array, right? You can think of it as a two-dimensional array, okay? So that's, that's what I want to show. So let's go back to what we were working with, right? Let's go back to what we were working with. So this, this is what we are working with. So after I converted this, you see how it is being displayed, right? Just like what I was showing you, just like each of the, um, each of the columns that I was showing you here, right? Just like each of the columns that I was showing you here. So it will give you the column and the particular items that are there, and then to give you some index there, right? It will give you some index there. So by default, Python is actually, or Pandas is actually going to give us um, an index. So if you can see over here, it's giving us an index starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, right? So three items there, lion, cat, birds, and then fish. Lion, cat, birds, and then fish, right? Then it will give you index, which is 0, 1, 2, and then 3. So that's, that's, that's what a series is actually about, right? So this, this is actually a series. So to give you a series, then it will give you an index, right? It will also give you an index. So this just one like this is what we refer to as a series okay and you can use the i mean the series function to do that all right so let's um actually move on over here now we actually uh we actually created this series and then the series actually gave us um it gave us this index right it gave us this in this when we converted our list right when we converted our list to a series over here automatically it will give us um, this this um, this index by default right it will give us an index by default if we don't want the index by default right if we don't want that index by default we can create our own index right we can create our own index and that's what we are going to actually do over here right we can create our own index so let me open this one so that i can actually show you what i mean by that right okay so now if you watch this carefully, now I'm creating I'm creating my days, right? I'm creating my days over here, which contains um days of the week from Monday all the way to Friday. So this is a list that I'm creating, right? It's a list that I'm creating. If you're creating a list, you use the square bracket, right, to create that. Right. So this is an, a list that I'm creating. So I created one list which contains days out of the week from Monday to Friday. Then I created another list, which is my courses, right? So which contains economics, um, geography, finance, mathematics, history, okay? So these are just random courses that I'm choosing. So I have my courses here, I have my days over here, all right? Then after that, I'm going to convert um, this, this my courses, right, to a series. Now, if I do that, right, I'm going to convert my days and my courses, each of them, to a series. So um, this one is actually converting I'm using pandas right, over here, don't forget. So in pandas, we have the series, right? So in pandas, we have the series function. So I'm going to convert my causes to a series, right? To, to a series um, object. So over here, you can see that now I have, instead of instead of this list, I have it in a, uh, I mean, in, in a series form, right? And then, uh, as I said, the pandas series will actually give us this default index. Right, so at index zero, we will be having economics. At index one, we will be having geography there, right? At index two, we'll be having finance. At index three, we'll be having mathematics. At index four, we'll be having um, history. Okay, the same way over here too, if you see what I'm doing here, right? My courses. Now, if I don't want this, this, this index, right? If I don't want this um, default index that Python will give me, what I can do is actually create my own index. So what I'm doing over here is that instead of this zero one two three four i'm going to use my days as an index right so what i'm doing is that i'm doing the same thing pd dot index uh, pd dot series 
just like I was doing here pd.series then I'll convert my courses to series so I'm doing the same thing pd.series then my courses will come now over here I'm specifying that the index should be my uh, I mean my days right the index should be this so instead of 0, 1, 2, 3, I want it to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday. So if you can see here, right, we have it here. Now you can see that we have the index Monday to Friday. Instead of 0 to 4, we have it to be Monday to Friday. And then um, my courses are also here. Right. So now I can see that on Monday, I have economics. On Tuesday, I have geography. On Wednesday, I have finance. On Thursday, I have mathematics. And then on Friday, I have history. Right, so I can specify an index in this way. Right. Now let's move on to um, this. So what I what I, I want to show you here. Let me uncomment this so that you can actually um, you can actually see what I was doing over here. Right. So let me just run this thing one more time. All right. Okay. So now see see what I'm what I'm doing over here. I have um I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday. Remember that when I created it, it was Monday to Friday, right? It was Monday to Friday. Now I'm going to add one more day, which is Saturday, right? I'm going to add one more day, which is Saturday. Now what I'm going to do here is that don't forget the number of items in this list is the same. I mean, the length of the items in this is the same as the length of items in here, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, right? We have one, two, three, four, five. So they are the same. If you want to check the length, you can actually do that, right? Um, if you want to check the length, you can actually do that. You can use the LEN, right? So maybe I want to check um, the length of my days, right? So if I do that. You see that I have five, right? I have five in there. So if if I want to check for um, this, okay. If I want to check for my courses too, you see that I have five, right? So I have five items in each in each of them. Now over here, if I check the length of this, right? If I check the length of this, if I check the length of this right my my days one which includes um saturday right so what do you think it will give us um let me run this again all right it will give us six right to give us six but don't forget um what i'm using here my course my course is five right so um if if you want me to show you that right my course we want to check the length of that actually small like this Right. If you want to check the length of this, my course over here. Okay. So now you see that my days one is actually of of containing six items, but my my courses is containing five items. Now, if I try to do the same thing that I did here, right? That I I, I specify that my index should be my days, right? So if you want to specify that it, sh it should be. You should make sure that the index that you're providing is the same um, length with the with the I mean the, the the values that you have here the length of the values that you have here okay so over here I have six as against five right so if if I run that let's see what we we'll get we we'll get an error right length of length of um, parse the values is five and then index implies six. You see how the error is interpretable over here, right? So if you get an error in Python, it's actually not something that you should care about. You just read uh, whatever is going to be output here, right? It's actually going to direct you of the mistake that you did, right? And it's actually going to point to where the mistake is actually coming from, all right? It's actually going to point to where the mistake is actually coming from. All right. So make sure that the length is actually um is of, is of the same size so over here if i take this one out and then run it again right now they are five now you see that it's working right you see that it's working so make sure that the length are uh, the same right you're going to need this as as we progress in the various projects that we'll be doing right so that's what i'm showing you so every concept that you will be getting here is something that you're going to need in the future in the projects that we'll be doing okay so take note of that now what i'm going to do here right let me open this so that you actually get to see now at first what i did is that i created this i created these two um these two these two um lists right i have list my days then i have list um, my courses over here then after that i converted 
um, my courses into into a pandas series then i also specify that i want the index to be my days okay now what i can do is that if you remember the list comprehension in my in, in um in, in the numpy class what we're trying to do is to actually um, make sure that we simplify our code and that is a good practice all right that's a very good practice make sure that you, you, you the code that you write is actually simplified avoid writing so many lines of code right and that's the beautiful thing about python that will help you to actually simplify the number of lines of code that you need to write okay so over here what i'm going to do is that instead of creating two lists right and then later on specific converting and specifying right like i did over here it's a long process i don't want to do that so within this i mean just for this single line of code i can do all that right i can do all that so over here you can see that i'm using um pd pd dot series right then inside that i'm passing this list Right, this is the list that we created separately. I'm passing that and then I'm specifying that the index should be day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. So all of these, all of these that I did, right, with this uh, one, two, and then um, three, right, four over here, I'm doing everything here at once. I'm doing everything here at once. Now, if, if I do that, you can see that now I have, um, I have these days, right? I have. I have these days being being written for me, um, being shown or indicated as, as as index here. So you see that day one here, right? You can see day one here. You can see day two, right? You can see day two. All the way to day three, day four, day five, they are all there, right? Day three, day four, day five, okay? And then these ones will be there, right? These ones will be, will be there respectively, right? They will be there Wednesday, Thursday, right? And then Friday. Okay, so I can do all these on, on just one line, right? One line of code, I can do everything at once, right? Specifying um, these values and also showing that I want this or being specific that I want these to be my um, index, okay? So what I'm trying to do is to avoid the, the NumPy um, I mean the pandas, the pandas default index that I to give me, which is 0, 1, 2, all the way to the last um, index that it will give me right so I can I can avoid that using this okay now if you see this second one that you have here right if you see this this um, this cell that we have here so we are creating the same thing here over here we did we did it for my day I mean for days right so let's let's do it for for course right so what I'm going to do is that I'm giving a list here right I'm providing a list I'm using the square bracket I'm providing a list of um of, of courses in here providing a list of courses in here now if you see this index the index that i want right and providing day one just like i was doing here day one day two right just the same thing that i'm doing over here now the difference is that if you see this one i have day one comma day two comma day three comma day four comma right i have commas in between them this one i don't have anything in between them i only have spaces so and don't forget i want them in this way right i want them in in this way to be to, to to be an index over here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to use the split function now you see the split function that we learned in the um in the numpy class is making we are making use of it here that's why i said everything that i'll give you here as we progress we are going to use it okay so now i see that i'm using the split over here now in the split um, inside the split function I'm use I'm, I'm providing nothing in there meaning that it's going to split based on the spaces that is having here based on the empty spaces that it will encounter so as soon as it will encounter it empty space it's going to split it according, according to the empty space okay so let's let's take it for instance if um if over here we're having we are having um comma right let's say um, over here we're having comments in between them right if we're having comments in between them like this right if we're having comments in between them like this right then over here i could have specified that split them based on comma right so if i do that right you see that it's working perfectly for me right it's working the same way as um without any comma it was still working so depending on how your data is being separated right depending on how your data is being separated you can split it 
based on how your data is being split so i just put comma here then i split it based on comma right but if there was nothing inside right if there was nothing inside there just like we're having it earlier on right we're having spaces so it was just spaces right we're just having spaces in between them right in, it's just spaces in between them so over here i use a split but inside the split i provide nothing in there so that it will split it as soon as it encounters an empty space all right so that's that's basically what it's actually doing so that's just the difference between this unlike this one i can create it manually as a list with these comments in between them i can also do it in this way okay so these are different ways that we can do it now what i'm doing is that i'm going to do this concatenation over here right using the plus sign so my days contains this right my days contain i mean my days contains this right that's that's i'm using this right i'm using this over here i created um a variable which is days which contains days days of the week right which is monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday that's this thing that i have here okay then i i also have a course i have any courses right courses is this one that i created over here which contains this output okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh, um, put together this output and this output okay that's what i'm going to do that's what i'm going to do so that's what i refer to as concatenation now if i do that this is the output that i get all right so now see what is happening here see what is happening here don't forget that um we're able to do that because we have the index right one uh, day one day two day three day four day five right they are the same thing day one day two so the the days are having the same the same index right they are having the same index here let me zoom a little bit up um out for you right then i use my pen so that you can actually spot right so they are having the same index right day one to day five right they want to day five so this is having this index causes also having this in there so they all have the same index so i'm able to add them right so it's going to add this right it's going to add this to this right it's going to add this to this that's why i have monday economics right so monday will be added to economics right monday will be added to economics right so that's that's what is going to happen monday will be added to economics tuesday will be added to geography um, wednesday will be added to finance the same thing so we got you see monday monday economics um tuesday geography wednesday finance and then thursday mathematics friday history all right now if you see this thing right they're all put together like that without even a space right that thursday mathematics there should be a space in between them one is the finance right monday economics there should be a space in between them but if you see how this has been displayed they have all been put together so to get around that what i can do is that instead of just adding them straight away like this right i can put a space in between them when i'm adding Right, so I can put an empty space in between the addition signs. Right, so when I'm when I'm doing the addition. So if I do that, you see how the output has been has been displayed. So if you compare this, you have Monday economics instead of first. I was having Monday economics all put together like this. Now I have Monday economics, the same thing, but I have spaces in between them. Tuesday geography, you see that I have spaces in between them. All right, so you can actually use this simple thing, this simple um logic to actually add it and it will actually make sense more okay you can also use merge which we will see which we will see in the i mean in the subsequent i mean cells i mean in this particular video we're going to actually consider merge so um no need to worry about that we're actually going to see it okay so um we have our causes and then we have um we can actually if you if you remember in the numpy class we're actually doing slicing right slicing and indexing so we can do the same thing over here now if you if you if you see our courses right inside our courses we have day one economics i mean it's the same thing over here that i'm that i'm printing out right courses day one economics day two geography right so i'm just printing it so that we can work along now what i'm going to do is that if i want to see say um day five what subject do i have um on day on day five right i can use causes day five so don't forget that this has been an index in the numpy class we used to use um, um uh, integers inside maybe at, at index zero or at index nine or something like that but in this case the index that we have here is either day one day two day three right so now we don't actually have um 
we don't actually have the default 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 5. Right? We don't have the default of that. If we have the default um, 0 here, then we could have put 0 inside. Or if it's 1, we could have put 1. Or if we want index 2, we could have done that. right? But in this case, this is our index. So we need to use that. OK? We need to use that so that's what is actually um going to happen here so um if we want if we want to see day five what subject that we we have right we can use that and now see that day five we have history right so if we use in this at index five at index day five we see that it will output this history for us right so at day five we have history okay now this is the days that i created here we did we did this for courses so we're going to do the same thing for days right we're going to do the same thing for days now if i do days i mean days at day three right at day three what do you think will be there at day three is wednesday right so we're supposed to get an output of wednesday okay that's that